All right. Start with the Jane Nash demo. That's pretty efficient, I think. Wow, that's less than 100 watts already. Okay, now it just popped up. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can. Yeah, you'll have to kind of like, right? There we go. There we go. And it's doing the. Yeah, the, low the, I'm sorry, the kilowatt needs a backlight, just so you know. Running the test. Is that what I think it says? 414, I just saw. Uh-huh. Now it's dropping down. Looking at your watts. This is far more efficient than we were seeing last week. I would hope so. It's seven generations newer process. <laughs> wow. That's a 230-watt light bulb running a future mark test. That's pretty darn good, I think. That's amazing. My processor is running about 4.4 gigahertz, by the way. I've not overclocked it, mostly. There may be some little tweaks in the BIOS, but it's basically running at 4.4. Mm -hmm. So, and there's no memory overclock uh, at all. What's your memory right now? I think. 32. Oh, you went over 300 there for a second. I think my runner is at 32, but we have we may have to go to CPU-Z to, to uh, verify that. You know, what's funny is I'm remembering that these numbers are not far off of what I was getting last week. <sighs> no, not terribly, no. I think yours was sucking down a little bit more power, but... Well, we can look at that. You can look at both videos, but... Yeah. Well, then now it might suck down some power. I actually saw it hit 353 at one point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My CCD is having a hell of a time because of the right. lighting changes. Right. <laughs> For the 12 people that will watch this anyway. <laughs> I don't know. It's all right. I'm interested in my, what my score is going to be, too. I haven't actually seen that, so... Uh, this is the new Calico demo. Yeah, and this one loads it. See, we're yeah, staying over I mean, 300 here. I think, yeah, yeah. Which makes sense. This is probably the most intense test. Let's see. Oh, now we drop down. Usually, the I think the higher, the when you see all the asteroids is when oh, it gets yeah, the most yeah, yeah. power. I'm really interested to see what my score is going to be, too. I've never run this demo, and so, or test. Actually, this is not a demo. This is an actual, I mean, like, they gave us the key, right? So, yeah. Very curious to see what uh, my score actually is. Well, I got some sun flares coming in, and uh, we're at uh, just below 300. The asteroids. Wait till they pass in front. That's pretty yeah, good. Staying pretty darn good. That's a testament to the efficiency of the card. Yes. Yes. Well, on the platform, too. The platform is going to also try to, like, sip power. You know, it will. But the card is obviously the biggest problem. There it is. See that? That's yeah. the ones. Yeah. yeah. There it goes. There it goes. Oh, we're off the rails. <laughs> did I see 390 for a minute? Yeah, there? I think you did. Wow. Yeah. yeah, that's the asteroids I was talking about. Mm -hmm. That's usually where it draws the most. What just drove a whole bunch there? <laughs> what do you even think about that? You're less than 400 watts. Yeah. Running this kind of a test on this kind of a system. I mean, that's light years where it used to be. Or Definitely. Where it used to be, you know. I mean, you and me both remember the days when we were talking about, you know, uh, millimeters and not, uh, what, is it, what is it now? Uh, picometers? I mean, yeah. We were, we were, we were running 45 nanometer processes, right? Mm -hmm. And so, what was it today? 
mean, oh, this is that. Is this this is the fourteen nanometer? The Westmere in the Xeon is thirty-two. Hmm. Oh, I gotta get this in the light. There we go. What was it before? It was a nanometer? Micrometers? I forgot what it was. Like the original uh, Pentiums were just like. Uh, I think they were 130 nanometer. There were some before nanometer, though. And we we used to run those too. Now, you're like, like getting back to the P4 days. Yeah. That's what I mean. There was no such thing as a nanometer back then. I forgot what it, I forgot what it was. Mm-hmm. There was a, there was another metric and it wasn't nanometer. Nanometer was actually a breakthrough. Yeah, my CCD is having a hell of a time with these flashes with the change. No, it's going. I, mean, I just want to keep the yeah, I see. keep it in sight. CPU is using nothing. Look at that. Might as well be. It might as well actually be see idle. 117, 121. Oh, I see. This is a CPU test. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, it's pretty cool. We can actually see the uh, wattage plus as it's running. Nice. Don't know what the heck that was. These are the feature tests. Three hundred and eighty well, frames per second. There, I'm pretty uh, impressed with the wattage, actually, for what this is doing. Huh. I'm very it's happy. like the wattage is matching the frames. <laughs> You're getting one watt per frame. One watt per frame. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm really happy about my uh, rig. It's, it's, it is. It's sipping power. Yeah, and this is a pretty good load on it. Yeah. It's not the, the fact that I saw it hit four hundred at one point means it is getting loaded. So. Yeah. And this is all we want to do with this test. We don't care about really well you do, but well, I, mean, I want to see what it is. It's not a real result of the DX10 right. test. And remember, I haven't even tried to overclock my computer or anything. So well, there's the flag demo, which is doing absolutely nothing. So that was fast. <laughs> wow, wow! Holy crap, that was fast. Yeah, I think this is the last one. The fog. I'm really curious to see what my uh, score would be. But this is sipping a lot. In fact, this, yeah, this definitely, I think, uh, bested your uh, Xeon. I think it's uh, sipping less power. 